Started having coffee at Starbucks, and they've been brewing me a pour over decaf. I figured, why not do it at home? So, step one, you can use one of these kind of kettles, or, you know, a conventional pot. And you gotta boil the, the fix that I found. I had to play with this for about a half hour yesterday. You have to have the exact amount of water with the exact amount of coffee. In my case, I got exactly one liter, which in, um, I guess, imperial units, and US units, whatever you wanna call it, comes out to about four cups. Now, once you have this, now you're gonna wanna go over to your pour over area, and this is where you have your grounds. In my case, I'm using the Cafe Verona Dark Roast, and I'm using a decaf, because I, I can't drink caffeinated coffee, I'm not gonna go into why, but you spread the, the grounds you know, evenly in there, and you place it on top of your pour over, like so. Got my holiday Starbucks cup here, there you go. And then you got your pour over device. All right, now we just, just saw that come over here. Now, honestly, you're not supposed to have it boiling, per se. Coffee nuts are probably gonna say, you know, what am I doing? I'm ruining it. Now, what you do is you slowly go over it, like I'm doing now. You very slowly, and you try to cover it. I think it's called frothing, or it's called some kind of a term like that. And you get the beans like that, where they're basically all wet. And then you let that set for about 30 to 45 seconds. And you're gonna notice some coffee start to drip at the bottom. No. And you let that sit and you let that settle for a little bit. Now the trick to this is, again, the trick is having the right amount of coffee with the right amount of water, or more or less you're gonna get watered down coffee. And you're gonna be upset. And that's when I was starting to get a little upset. I was like, yeah, I paid to the pour over, doing exactly what I thought was being done, but in reality, yeah, I was not. And then you keep doing like I just did, and you pour a little bit more water, and down below, it's gonna drip. Now you might ask, why do you do this? Well, a few reasons. Conventional coffee machine, basically is doing what I'm doing here in a sense. It's dripping, but you know, builds up molds, dirts, all kind of stuff like that. And you know, this is a lot easier to clean in reality. You don't have to get the one with the permanent filter. I may try to swap it out and then see if that helps me clean a little easier, but eh, it takes two seconds to really clean it. But see, that's the whole thing with this. This whole object takes me, I don't know, three minutes after I'm done cleaning it. And I can control, as you can see, how fast this drip. In a normal, in a normal machine, water right now would just keep going and going, beating, and it would take away from the flavor of the coffee. In my case, you know, I'm doing it like you can see. I'm pouring and I'm stopping. Now there are different types of pour-over machines. In this case, I'm using a. Let's see. This up and picked this up in Target yesterday. It's a bottom, or bo I guess if you spell it by say bottom, it's an eight copper. Now, when I first got it, you know, I was a little confused because you know I don't want to make see no paper filter, no capsules, no waste, just coffee and water. One of the best ways to brew coffee. Honestly, I agree. But Use medium ground coffee, slowly pour hot water in a circular motion to show it with a kettle like me. Again, you don't have to do it like that. Allow water to pass through the coffee, remove filter, and enjoy a good cup of coffee. As simple as that. Well, now if you don't want to make eight cups, what do you do? Now that's exactly what I figured out. What I did was I took a measuring cup. I measured one cup and I poured it into my kettle and it came below the half a milliliter. The half a liter, rather, I'm sorry. Half a liter, I'll put the point over here. I poured another cup, and it came up to exactly 0.5 ml, uh, 5, 5 L, just about. I want everybody jumping on me. It's a little over two cups. Now that's fine. I said, okay. And then I made another cup of coffee, and I put 
I put two scoops from the coffee and maybe a hair bit more to compensate that little bit of extra water. I did that and I drank that cup of coffee and I was like, now that's perfect. Now good, now that's good for, makes me basically one of, almost one of these, up to about, up to about there. I drink it black, so up to about there. And it came out perfect. My only gripe was you know, I wanted another cup, so I had to go through all of this again. So today, I'm making four cups, that way I don't have to do it more than once. And then it'll, like, it'll stay hot, and it's a nice hot, um, this nice, nice glass thing in the jiggy here, whatever you want to call it, pour over, there we go. And that's really about it. I'm not gonna go all the way to the, I'm not gonna go all the way to the end with this, but just a simple video on pour over. Sorry for my dirty little but kettle cup pour over machine. I might do some other various methods. Um but that's the one I have the one appointment. Alrighty guys, see you in the next one. Later, peace.